In this video, I'll show you how to find the complex impedance for a circuit. The question reads, find the complex impedance Z for the circuit shown below. Take a look at the circuit. The impedance is represented by this letter. The current is 4 decimal 0 times sine at an angle of omega t plus 45 degrees. And voltage is represented by 10 times sine omega t. The first thing that I'll do is convert this sinusoidal equation into polar form. And the way I'll do that is by using the amplitude of this equation, 4.0, as my I max. Then take that number and divide it by the square root of 2 and that will get me my effective current. So let's go ahead and do that. The I max right now, as mentioned, is the amplitude of 4 decimal 0. And I want to put this equation into this format. So I'll take this number and divide it by the square root of 2. 4 decimal 0 divided by the square root of 2 gives me approximately 2.83. 2.83. That represents my effective current. And my angle is 45 degrees. So to write this down in complex polar form, I'll write down capital I is equal to 2 decimal 8 3 at an angle of 45 degrees. I have to do the same thing now for my voltage. So this number 10 represents V max and I can find the effective voltage by taking my V max, my amplitude, and dividing it by the square root of 2. So V max is equal to 10. Divide that by the square root of 2. Let's use our calculator once again. Divide this by the square root of 2 gives me approximately 7 decimal 1. 7.1. This will represent my effective voltage. 7.1 at an angle of, and no angle is provided. The phase angle here is 0, so I'll write down 0 degrees. The question is asking for the complex impedance. All we have to do right now is use the following relationship where V is equal to I times Z. Rearranging this formula by dividing both sides by I, take a look, I end up with Z is equal to V over I. So let's go ahead and substitute what we just found earlier. 7.1 at an angle of 0 over 2.83 at an angle of 45. We are dividing two complex polar form numbers. And to do that we divide the radii 7.1 divided by 2.83. That gives me 2.50 at an angle of 0 minus 45. We are subtracting the two phasors giving us negative 45 degrees. And that right there represents the impedance in polar form for the circuit. And so there you have it. That is how to find the complex impedance for a circuit.